Good morning, everyone, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me in my three months progress report. Uh, on my PhD thesis titled Oncoplastic Breast Surgery and its Clinical Significance. I would like to introduce myself. I'm Loretta Niradi, a fifth year medical student and an MD PhD student at the Department of Surgery, Transplantation and Gastroenterology under the guidance of Zoltan Klarik and Jakub Hoferica. My mission is, of course, to aim for perfection in breast reconstruction. And my vision is to find the best technique or techniques which result in the safest oncological and also the best aesthetic outcome. Over the past three months, I've dove deeply into two critical areas of oncoplastic breast surgery, and I'm excited to share some insights into it. Let's begin with my first project, which is investigating the safety and effectiveness of volume displacement and replacement techniques in oncoplastic breast conserving surgery. Every eighth woman has some kind of breast cancer, which could affect not only their physical health, but also their mental and sexual well-being. However, with some kind of reconstruction, we could give them back their health, emotional well-being, and also their self-confidence. There are two distinct techniques uh, in reconstruction. One of them is volume displacement, and the other one is volume replacement. Volume displacement utilizing local breast tissue promise better circulation and a smaller scar. But on the other hand, volume replacement using perforator-based flaps has some kind of disadvantages, more disadvantages than displacement techniques. For example, a poorer circulation or a bigger scar. So that's why my aim is to compare these different oncoplastic techniques and their outcomes by answering my clinical question, which method is the safest and most satisfactory in oncoplastic breast reconstruction surgery? Uh, including the population of women underwent breast conserving surgery. The two intervention groups are volume replacement and volume displacement. And primarily, I would like to examine the patient satisfaction and secondarily, the oncological safety. We hypothesize that reconstruction with volume displacement is associated with better outcomes. And my study's implication is to prioritize the use of breast conserving surgery by offering the best technique, which results in the most satisfactory and safest outcome. I've conducted my systematic search in three different databases. Here you can see my search key. In the first part of it, there are the different techniques, their names. And in the second domain, there are the oncoplastic breast conserving surgery and its synonyms. I included three key articles in my preliminary search and in my preliminary data extraction. Uh, all three of them are newly published and uh, includes all the outcomes, so the primary ones and also the secondary ones. Um, and especially the third one is interesting because it includes breast Q and has a long follow-up time, which is in this case nine months. Um, but unfortunately, two of them only includes 20 to 30 patients. Here's my selection flowchart. Uh, we started with uh, more than 17,000 articles, uh, and after the duplicate removal, we uh, have 13,500. I'm halfway done with my title and ab abstract selection, and Andrish is also progressing pretty well in my project. So let's move on to my second project, which is investigating the safety and effectiveness of polyurethane breast implants compared to alternative ones in reconstruction after mastectomy. So not only every eighth woman has breast cancer, but it's the second leading cause of death. So mastectomy rates are increasing. For example, here you can see that from 2009 to 2020, um, it increased from 10% to 25%. And until these days, uh, mastectomy has a strong stigmatizing effect, which can be mitigated by reconstruction, offering pleasing results and better quality of life. Here are the different indications for mastectomy, and I would like to highlight the most important ones. For example, if the tumor is larger than 50 millimeters, or if there are multiple malignant lesions, or if it's a local recurrence. So let's move into the polyurethane implants, which are regular silicon implants coated with polyurethane foam. These show promising results also in acute complications like seroma, infection, or hematoma, and also in later complications like capsular contracture or implant rotation. 
And last but not least, the overall patient satisfaction with these polyurethane implants are much better than with the alternative ones. And that is why I would like to compare the implant-based reconstruction techniques with each other and their outcomes, and examine their outcomes. So my clinical question is, which implant-based reconstruction demonstrates the lowest rate of complications and the most satisfactory outcome in patients undergoing mastectomy? Here I would like to compare the alternative implants with the polyurethane implants and examine the complication rates and the patient satisfaction. We hypothesize that polyurethane implants are superior to alternative ones. My clinical implication um, shows, I would like to, uh, so my study's clinical implication is to promote the use of implant-based reconstruction after mastectomy by understanding the most suitable approach. In summary, these are my two ongoing projects. Um, these are two crucial parts of oncoplastic breast surgery. So the first one is volume displacement and replacement in oncoplastic breast conserving surgery and the safety and effectiveness of polyurethane breast implants <coughs> in reconstruction after mastectomy. And I would like to thank you for your attention with my quote, which is, every turn in life is a chance to shift into something extraordinary. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations, Loretta. It's an interesting uh, title or subject. So my question is, uh, what is your opinion about uh, delayed or immediate uh, uh, reconstruction? So which one is better according to articles? Okay, thank you for your question. So um, in my case, we are only examining the direct um, reconstruction techniques and um, Mm, maybe in the future we would like to also examine the later reconstruction. Thank you. Thank you for your great presentation. Regarding your first project, <coughs> what does uh, oncological safety mean or what does it include? Thank you for your great question. So by oncological safety, I mean recurrence rate, positive margins and re seizure rate. So these are um, the outcomes I would like to examine. Okay, thank you. I wanted to ask that you, uh, regarding your first project, uh, you mentioned that uh, volume displacement is uh, quite superior to for volume replacement, with, which has more uh, benefits. Why would anyone choose volume displacement, replacement, yeah. um, after all? Surgeons uh, do volume replace, uh, replacement in cases when someone has a um, relatively smaller breast, or um, if they have to um, take out 30% of the breast and uh, they have to replace the tissue. So that's why they use volume replacement. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your presentation. I would like to ask, uh, how would you like to measure the outcomes of quality of life and patient satisfaction and how will you evaluate this? Yeah, that's okay. a quite interesting question. Um, so we would like to examine those with objective measurements. There are many uh, patient satisfaction tools and patient satisfaction questionnaires, which we would like to include in our study, and uh, especially the breast cue, which I mentioned in my uh, presentation. And uh, that questionnaire includes uh, the mental health, um, the physical health, and also the sexual well-being. Thank you.